Yo, hello, it's Povikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the vintage TV effect. Let's begin. First, press Ctrl Alt Y and you will make an adjustment layer. Now you can add transform. For now, don't change any of the settings. Now we can add S invert. Turn off the invert luma. Make offset arcs minus 2.19. Add deep glow. Make the exposure 1.4. Add warp. Make the bend 15. The warp style. Make it fisheye. Add CC vignette. Put it below warp. Make the amount 255. Add S flicker. Make the amplitude 0 0.8. Now let's add S scan lines. Make the S flicker go on top of the warp and in Scan lines, change the lines frequency to 70, lines sharpness to 1.3. Now add another transform and also just keep the settings like that. I also want to tell you that we have an editing visuals website where we have packs which we use to make our videos and edit. For example, in my favorite pack, the Halloween pack, we have some dark and edgy effects. If you have the pack, you can just type Halloween and then you have Halloween effects. Make a new adjustment layer and then add any of these effects of so Halloween effect 10, for example. And we have this cool blood overlay. You can also add Halloween effect 11. This gives that inverted look, but just way cooler. We also have probably my second favorite effect out of the whole pack, Halloween Effect 12. And if you want to check out the pack, the link will be in the description. Let's get back to the video. We basically already made a little TV effect, as you can see. And you can already use it like this if you want. But we can also make it zoom in and zoom out. So we can go to a random frame, maybe somewhere here, and go and press E. And here, I'm going to go to S Invert, Composite Options, press on Effect Opacity. I will just keyframe. Now, let's go to Deep Glow, click on the stopwatch of the exposure. Let's go up to our layer right here, keyframe the position, the scale, and go below to our first transform that we had and keyframe this Q. Now close out of there and press U and we will have our little keyframes right here. I'm going to go one frame forward. Here I will just make it glitch just a little bit. So I'll make the scale 173 and I'll make the position 1053 and this one 763. Now I'm going to go like four frames forward somewhere there. Keyframe the position so it stays the same here and I will make the scale just zoom in a little more so like 200. I'll go one frame forward. Now I will make the transform 635. This one 585. I'll make the scale 164. Here I'll make the deep glow exposure 0 0.5 and I'll make the S invert effect opacity 0. I will make it 6 here and then I will go back to this frame right here. One frame after it was 0 and I'll make it 6 here as well. Now when I'm here I'll go one frame forward again. And here I'll just make positioning normal 0.60. This one's 540. I'll make the scale 100. Deep glow exposure 1.4. S invert opacity 100. The skew 0. Again now I'm gonna go 4 frames forward somewhere here. Now copy these settings. Now I'm going to go five frames forward here. Okay? I'll just keyframe the positioning, the scale, and the skew. Now let's go one frame forward. Now copy these settings. I'll go four frames forward. Now copy these settings. I'll go one frame forward again. Now copy these settings. And I'll go one frame forward. Copy these settings. If you want this whole glitch effect to go through the whole video while scaling in and scaling out, which you can actually do, you can go to all of these keyframes right here. Once you select the keyframes, you can go to the ending of the keyframes. And now you can hold Alt and press on the transform stopwatch. And here you can type loop out and let's select it. Now it's going to loop the skew. Now we want everything else loop as well. So we can go to the S invert settings here and we can again hold Alt, press on the stopwatch, type loop out and now the invert will loop out. We can do that deep glow. We can hold Alt and press on the stopwatch here, type loop out, press on it. We can do this to basically everything here. We can do it to the transform, to the scale. So I'll do it to the scale. Hold Alt, press on the stopwatch, type loop out, select it. And here, do it again. Hold Alt, press on the stopwatch, type loop out. And now this whole thing will just loop. And we have fully made a TV vintage effect. You can really mess around with a lot of the settings right here. You don't have to have these settings just like I do. This is just what I prefer. Also, if you want to save this whole thing, go to your adjustment layer, press on one of the effects, and now hold Control A, and it will select everything. And let's go to animation, save animation preset. Here we can call it, I guess, TV vintage effect and we can save it. I hope this video was helpful. You can also add some effects from our Halloween effect pack and it will look even crazier. All right, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.